Oh, baby, let me get you something special. How about a Duke of Surprise? <laughs> Never mind, you need a drink. Jerry, need some fucking booze over here. Haha, <laughs> they're my party girls. I'm too much man for just one woman, so I need two. <laughs> I wear them out every night. Why should they bother getting dressed when I'm just going to take it off? <laughs> Help yourself, clown shoes. Grab one from the liquor cabinet. I never trust anyone without a drink in their hand. Of course, I never trust one that does either! <laughs> Eating, drinking, farting, and screwing! Ha <laughs> ha! Out here, nobody bothers me. I can do whatever I like to whoever I want. Hey, what's your language, clown shoes? I don't pay them. They take care of me, so I take care of them. We rub each other wrong all night long. <laughs> You need to drink more. Ha <laughs> ha! What you doing, honey? Hello, honey. I'm Fantasia. You're not going to be staying long, are you? Dookie doesn't like me to wear a lot. He says it slows things down. He's all right. He can be a real fun guy, but he sure knows how to wear a girl out. Most of all, I'm safe here. I wouldn't pull out a weapon, even just to show him. He gets kind of paranoid about that. Don't get in a shooting match with him. He's really good. Sweet for him, maybe. I'm just along for the ride. He's good with a gun and knows where to get booze. It's, well, it's Dukov's place. He lives here. Pretty much, he just does a lot of drinking and partying. Le Hi, sugar. I'm Cherry. Do yourself a favor. Watch yourself with Dukov. He's all hands. Dukov likes to keep it hot. Ain't no need for nothing else. He's a lecherous old man. The only reason I put up with him and his needs is because I'm safe here. He tends to shoot first and ask questions later. Don't pull out a weapon near him. He's likely to shoot you. And he's really good. You're a pig, you know that? I'm only doing this because he can keep me safe. He's a lot tougher than he looks. I'm not sure how much longer that will be enough, though. Only if you take me to Rivet City. This guy is an animal, and not in a good way. But I'm safe here. Let me pack my bags. Oh, wait. I don't have any. Let's get out of here. Yeah? The sooner we get there, the better. Well, you kept your promise. I really didn't think you would. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're my hero. Don't let it go to your head. Seriously.
Hello. Hey there. Don't mind me. Make it quick, will you? I'm coming down and I gotta get my fix. My wife, Cindy, she's always watching the inventory. If I take any, she'll lock me out. Make it quick, will ya? I'm coming down and I gotta get my fix. That's what Cindy says too, but I got the itch. I need it bad. What's the big idea? Good to see you. Yes, ma'am. Well, one of us is. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't even know I'm there. Really? Oh, thank you. I just know I can seduce Diego with this. Then he'll have to marry me. <laughs> we'll be so happy. Bye. Yeah? Goodbye. You don't Nothing belong. stopped. You did a good thing delivering that component to Zimmer, telling him the android was dead. For that, I'm going to entrust you with some information. The android's transformation was done by a man named Pinkerton, here in Rivet City. He's hidden down in the broken fore section of the ship. You'll need to swim to reach him. But if you're inclined, Pinkerton can perform a facial reconstruction on you as well. It won't disguise your identity, but you'll be able to experience life in a new skin and truly understand that we're all human on the inside. I'm Here. hungry. Hello, ma'am. Nice day, huh? What are you looking at? Decided to check out the shop, eh? If you want any of... Need to do...